I'm Robin Streeter. I paint with the spoon. I have no idea how I paint with the spoon. I just knew one day, I was down here in Heartside, I didn't have a paintbrush, and I tried it, it did not work. But the more I tried it, then I started painting on top of a spoon, painting on top of paint, drop painting, grip painting. I started creating things I've never seen before, you have never seen before, and I'm willing and happy because God gave me a chance to paint with a spoon. <laughs> my art in the park because of the air and the sun and you're free and it's a beautiful park. I find serenity here. I could have been doing a lot of other things. I'm not perfect. I have down thoughts too but sometimes I can get very depressed. Very depressed and there's a lot of things I can do. Self medicate but I don't but I chose to paint it must be something positive to do it's a lot of hours in the day you can find a lot of negative things to do I'm just glad God gave me a chance to go down the deck the day to go down the hard side when you don't feel that much love nothing to do too many hours in the day I find I get into trouble so down there our side, there's so much to do. Ceramics, painting, art, motivation classes, or just someone to talk to, or a cup of coffee. So, if you're someone like me, feel lonely sometimes, need someone to talk to, you can meet friends down there, or you can be like me. Now I'm on the wall, now I feel like I'm special. At first, I was just simple Robin, five kids, like grandkids. Now I'm artist Robin. So first I was in a house, a beautiful house, closed in with all kinds of material things. It didn't make me happy. I'm more happy being out here. See, you can be homeless when you live in a house with everything and never be happy, never be happy. But when you give up all of those material things that you thought was so valuable and you realize you can't take that stuff with you. My son bought me a handful of rings. They're in a box. I can put those rings on. It don't look right to be down here in the park bleeding while everybody's hungry. People are hungry and hungry. It's like if I'm hungry, I appreciate you more because you help me. But it depends on how you help me. Are you going to just give me some water? There's some water right there. Are you going to give me a sandwich? Or are you going to give me a way so I can draw and make me some money? Then I can buy me some paint, some more spoons. And not only did you help me, and now I can start my own business. Because of your generosity. You showed love for me. And some people didn't show love. You can walk up and hand me a rock. I can get high with it. When I'm, when I'm done getting high, you gotta come back to me and realize I'm right back to where I was. You didn't help me, you hurt me. But if you help me, like come down the hard side, just looking at my painting, even if you didn't buy it, just because you paid an interest to me, it hurts me that you love me so much. I got people out here that say they love me. They don't know what it is. They don't know what love is. You love me. Yeah. 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 You love me. Yeah. You listen to me. You saw my tears. You saw me be genuine with you. But guess what? Just because I cry don't mean I'm weak. Just because I cry don't mean I'm sad. All you did is made me strong. You melted that. I'm not crying no more. <laughs> I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're beautiful. You know, thank you very much for that.
Yeah, baby milk. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna stop paying. Yeah, the hard side gallery. I want you to notice that I was here and I was different. I don't want to be the same. I want to be. When I say I have 26 granddaughters and six grandsons and my first great grandbaby, they don't even know I can pay. My oldest son is 41. He doesn't know that I can pay. No one did. I was at home being an octopus, helping this person, helping that person, helping this person. But I forgot to help me. I forgot about me. And then when all of them grew up and left, I was all alone. And when all my material things got that mold on it, and they were no more value to no one but to me, I felt hopelessness. I felt like I didn't want to live anymore. And I almost took myself out for loneliness and feeling that my job was done here. And when I went to her side, and all of a sudden people started buying my painting, even if they came up missing, the thought that you thought I was good enough to take my painting, you know, it made me cry that you took it. But the thought that it was good enough for you to want to take and hide, it just made me mad. It made me want to come out rah, like that and come back stronger, better. And so this is what I'm doing now. I'm trying to come out stronger and better. Because I want to go to the next level, you know, the next stage. I want to evolve. I want to get better. I want to become stronger. I want to... I want my mama to be proud and my kids to, to be proud of me. <laughs> I got one daughter and she didn't even know <laughs> that I could do this. I know I was painting Cadillacs <laughs> in my ride, but I had no idea that it was going to go further than pimping Cadillacs. Now I'm drawing fishes and I'm making water move with a spoon. I never thought the water could move. It can't move with a brush, but it can move with a spoon. Imagine something like that. I'm in the line with the people that's at God's Kitchen. I'm in the line with the people at Dagley J's. I'm no different than you. It don't matter how much rent you pay, where you live, we're all the same, because I believe just like you believe. You know what I'm saying? All of us, we all need somebody. And sometimes we just need ourselves just to be alone, you know? Sometimes God try to take things from you so you can get to the next stage and you fight it. You fight it. You want it so bad. But once that person or that thing is gone, then you realize, oh, I'm so glad I'm free. Out here, I'm free. There's no chains on my feet. There's nobody telling me what I can do, what I can't do. You know, you can be the richest person in the world and be the most saddest, unhappiest person in the world. But if you find something that you've never tried before, I mean, try something. So I just want to say sometimes you can get really lonely and depressed. And you think it's the end. Sometimes you, you don't want to go no more. I've been there. And I just want to say, please, please don't give up. Please. Just go somewhere alone where you can think or find someone that you can trust, that you can talk to. You know they're there. You think they're not. It could be someone that you never, ever saw before. And they could be Jesus, Angel, Cain. You didn't even know it. All you know is you shared your pain with them. They never told you what their pain was. And all of a sudden, they're trying. And don't quit trying, no matter what. This painting here, this painting was someone else's painting that I found on the shelf. And I left what they put on it, I just added mine to it. 
So this is how this painting came. It was actually another person's painting. And after they left, they put it under the shelf for anyone to redo. And this has been redone. And it's like taking something, like a baby doll that's at the Goodwill. It's all raggedy and the clothes all tore. You take that doll home, give it a bath, wash his dress, comb his hair, sit it up there, and it's just as good as the other dolls that you had. Especially if you put some braids and barrettes in it. You know, and my grandbabies never knew that it was a secondhand baby because she's so pretty, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like a secondhand baby. I've been redone over again. We we done. But this is so beautiful. This is where I be every day if I can. Man. So I usually just walk through here, go to heart side. Set up. Oh, that's so beautiful. Man. I know. A lot of people would never do this, but it's okay. And it's a little inside too. He must really like me. He must really love me, you know? <laughs> to even allow me to, to shine. I'm just a normal person with two spoons. So, I'm just hoping you guys to check out her side gallery. Give a person a chance that don't feel like they have much going for them. And they really do. They just can't see the potential. So, check me out down the hard side, please. The starving artist. I would love to be able to buy me some more paint, some more spoons, or help someone else along the way. Maybe they might want to learn how to paint. I mean, it's not very hard to do. I have no idea how I learned to do it, but I do. Glad I did. Thank you for taking the time. Let me talk to you and show you some of my art. Robin Streeter. I just want to do stuff. Make you look at it twice. Like, hmm, how did she do that? How in the world did she make those little rocks? Little spoon. <laughs>